Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How to modify the action policies contained in the BPM action policy configuration object. Hello, my name is Sergio Arispe. I work with the Business Automation and Workflow Support Team. Today I'll be discussing how to modify the action policies contained in the BPM action policy configuration object. Action policies for the process portal restrict actions on business processes and tasks to certain user groups. Some of these policies have default groups already assigned to them. You can change the default values to fit the needs of your process portal user base. Some of the action policies can also be used in conjunction with BPM's REST API. The instructions on how to determine the index for the attribute that you want to modify for BAW 19.x are located in this knowledge center. Unfortunately, they are not 100% correct. So I will be using the instructions for BPM 8.6 that have the correct indentation, and I will be showing this on this presentation. The instructions are basically the same in both versions. And we start with starting the WS admin scripting tool. We start the WS admin tool in the deployment manager profile.bin directory. Here I brought up my Linux terminal and I'm showing you my profile D manager bin directory. My server is currently stopped and I run the command as shown in the knowledge center. I also run the next command just to show the defaults for the BPM policy action policy. I do not need to show the BPM action policy configuration ID to modify the actual policy. So I'll just go straight to the modification. Now here is the important part. These are the commands that will be used to determine the index for the attribute that we want to modify. Notice that there is some indentation, and this indentation is absolutely necessary for you to be able to determine the index. This black line is also necessary, as, I will, as we will show. So I'm just going to copy and paste these commands directly into my Linux terminal. I have to include any indentation when it's available. I went ahead and copied and pasted the rest of the items with the available indentation that was needed. Here I'm going to enter to submit that new line. At this point, I can go back to my documentation to see what I have to do next to actually modify an attribute. So let's go back. And what I really want to know is what roles are set for a particular action policy. Here we can see the command to show the roles associated to the action abort instance policy. In this case, it would be WTW admins. But let's go ahead and try it out on my Linux server. So I'm going to go ahead and paste. And as you can see, my uh, role is, in fact, TW admins. So if I wanted to modify this, I would use the following command admin config.modify. All of this, the action policy included, the roles and whatever new role. So this new role is basically a team in LDAP. It, it doesn't have to be pre-configured for you to add the team. So you can add it after the fact, after you run the command. So let's go ahead and run the command. And it is typical to see this, nothing, but, we can show we can show the attributes for that action policy 
by using one of the commands above, which we already did, the print show attributes. So let's see. So now we can see that this action policy has two roles, TW admins and new role. So that policy has been um, modified. However, it hasn't been saved. And unfortunately, the save command isn't shown here in the business process manager 8.5.7. Uh, it, it does say you can have to run the admin config.save command, but it doesn't show you exactly how. So we're going to go back to the BAW 19.x and see here it didn't, it didn't do the indentation, so it's not going to work, but it does actually show you how to save this. So let's go ahead and run this command. Okay, um, that's fine. So for the policy actions to take effect, we have to resynchronize the nodes if they were started and restart the BAPM server. As I stated, I like to do this with the server already stopped. And I, all, I have to, all I have to do at this point is start the server. And if I'd like, if, there, if the REST API is available, I can test the action policy using one of the REST API testing tools. So to end this presentation, I will let you know that the work is being done to um, fix the defects in this knowledge center to include the indentation on the next release of BPM. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.